Happy holidays, my friends. It is day number 20 of Advent Calendar Madness. I am Pixel Dan. I'm Stina. And I'm Stina. Hey, oh my goodness. Five, Five days, days until Christmas. <laughs> are you excited? Yes. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we are this close. Five more days until the big day, which means we only have a few episodes of the show left. Yep. Oh my gosh, and we've got so many creepy sandals we gotta get to. I don't know how we're gonna make it we happen. We all do, we but, always do. You know what, I didn't even bring my phone over here. I gotta go get my phone real quick. Hold on, let's pause this. Bah! Okay, everything's all good now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. My friends, it is Creepy Santa time. He's not going to leave. I was going to say, wasn't he on? I yeah. think he was on already. We left him on last time to see if he would ever just magically come back on, and it hasn't happened. So he is, he's in Dead. one of his slumbers again. He's in one of his slumbers. You never know what's going to happen with him. Well, while so, you're messing with him, let's yeah. open our Kate and Dan. There you go. Like a little Christmas desk with presents. Oh! Ooh, what is this? It's probably a little sleigh, actually. Yep, oh, it is the it's sleigh. It's a little sleigh. It's Santa on it. <laughs> That's actually pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. He's like a little wooden, a little wooden one. That is really neat. Oh, I think I got it. I think I know. <laughs> Set, he's got a Christmas tree. Is he the Grinch? <laughs> oh, you think he just stole everything? Like that's not actually Santa? Yeah, because Santa Claus does not bring trees. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Santa good, doesn't good, need to bring trees. That's a good thought. Interesting. That's an interesting way to look at that. Yep. That's not a Santa bringing presents. That's a Grinch that stole Christmas. But, but what if somebody? <laughs> what, what if a little kid asks for a play tree? Oh, maybe it's a toy tree. It's a toy tree. Or maybe they didn't have a tree for Christmas and they wanted a tree for Christmas with their presents and he's bringing it. They could buy one. Oh, well, maybe they couldn't. <laughs> maybe they couldn't buy maybe one. Maybe they couldn't. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I like the way your brain's working, though. Like, you're really thinking these things through. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a bunch of emails that we've got to get through today. So let's uh, let's just start in on it. Hello, Pixel Dan and family. Hope you guys are feeling better. This Santa has been creeping out my creeping out my husband for the past three years on his walks. I finally joined him to see this Santa, and I'm not gonna lie, it gave me the heebie-jeebies. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Holly and Tristan. So it's just one of those that they. It's stuck. like yeah, it looks like it's one of those like old dancing ones that are like life size, but they totally just stuck it up in the window. On Never the second story. I understood, though, the ones where they just put the full Santa. I know, yeah. Because it is a little creepy. It does, because it just looks like somebody standing up there watching yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is always watching you. He's always watching. Always watching. Oh, I got that. That's not Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> the next email says, Hello, Pixel family. My name is Rebecca. I found your Advent Calendar Madness last year and it couldn't have been better timing watching your videos brought a much needed smile to my face i was homeless and going through Aww. some very tough times i now have my own place and i still love your videos that Thank is you. really nice to hear and i'm so glad things have gotten better for you i found this creepy snowman and weird santa at my thrift store the eyes on the snowman are scary I feel like I'm looking through black holes when I look at it. The Santa is just weird having a beach ball. Needless to say, they stayed at the store for someone else to buy. Keep up the great videos and Merry Christmas. So here's the that, snowman. That, that looks that looks like the snowman that they stick on top of the house in uh, Christmas the Crank. That's exactly what I was thinking. The eyes. Free, frosty, free, frosty, <laughs> free, frosty. It's the eyes. <laughs> And then uh, here's a weird Santa with a beach ball hanging out with some polar bears. <laughs> it's not a... See, I see an ornament. Well, look at look at. Oh, it could be an ornament because the the black at the top could be the uh, top of yeah, the ornament. Yeah, you could be right. But I can also see the beach ball part of it too. Weird eyes, very weird red cheeks. I don't know. He's the a bit lines strange. On the yeah, top of the his weird head. wrinkles in his eye, forehead. Yep. That's a weird one. What do you think, Spence? You hey. like him? Hey. <laughs> Rebecca, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. 
The next email says, hello, Pixel family. I'm a longtime viewer, first time creepy Santa sender. I want to say thank you for doing Advent Calendar Madness. I discovered this during the time when my mom had passed away oh. in 2018, and it brought me a lot of joy to see this, especially during a tough year. I've been following you on YouTube since your days from for, from from Pixels the Plastic to that new toy smell. I also oh. picked up your toys from your toys from Masters of the Universe book. It's one of my all-time favorites. Man, this is amazing. So first of all, thank you for following me for so long. It's yes. insane that it's been almost 20 years now that like like I am reaching that point that we've we've been doing this for so long. It's so weird. Um, but also, I'm constantly blown away by the amount of people that thank us for doing this silly show because it's helped them through some sort of hardships. Yeah. Like that is that is so awesome and that makes me feel really good that we're doing this. So I'm really happy that we can help uh, any of you out with just a little bit of silliness just to bring a smile to your face during this time of year. So that's awesome. So he goes on to say, this creepy Santa has been in my family for generations and was too good not to show. Hope you all have a very happy holidays and a prosperous 2022. Sincerely, Mike from Virginia. And it's, it's this guy. I love this one. But is it, he? I feel like he is the first one to say in his house. Yeah, it's from been in his family for generations. Yeah, it yeah. is. It, they didn't find this one mm -hmm. in an antique store. He's such like a iconic, like I need to find one of these because I feel like this is like the quintessential creepy Santa decoration. Like this is the one that you see people show off and point to yeah. on a regular basis, right? It's just like a weird stuffed animal that just has this face that definitely rings true to the creepy Santa name, I think. What do you think, Spence? Do you want this uh, Santa stuffy for your collection? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. The next email says, hi, Pixel family. Loving all your work as ever. Loved the book too. Thank you. I don't think this year's Creepy Santa is as bad as our Creepy Santa boyfriend mask from last year. I don't know if you remember that, but that was funny. Uh, but I hope you still like it. And while Santa can be creepy, have you ever heard, and I'm going to mispronounce this, have you ever heard of Mari Luide? Luide? Mari Luide. In Welsh caroling, the Mari Luide goes around town house to house bringing Christmas cheer. However, it has the skull of a horse for a head with Christmas baubles for eyes and a mane of holly and ivy. This is on top of a white sheet giving it a ghost-like appearance. Very creepy. Happy holidays and, oh boy, Nadolig Lawin a Blyden Nuyid Da. From Luke and Lee in Wales. Okay, so first of all, okay. here's the creepy Santa that they found this year. <laughs> He's creepy. He's pretty creepy, He's pretty, right? Pretty creepy. He, he looks very mad. And I know I'm mispronouncing this, but this is the this is an image of what the uh, Welsh Mari Luide would look like. That is interesting. <laughs> it goes around spreading Christmas cheer. It's got the head of a horse's skull. How crazy is that? What do you think, Spencer? Is looks, that creepy? It looks like a Japanese. Oh, yeah? Well, it's Welsh. It's 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 Welsh, it says. It, uh, it's really interesting, It though, is right? very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Not I always like hearing about, like, uh, all these different weird holiday traditions and folklore yeah. and stuff like that from around the world. Obviously, like, Krampus is one that's gained a lot of pop culture reference over the years. Yeah. Uh, but there's all kinds of weird things like this from different cultures. And it's always so, so interesting to learn about it. I like it. So does he, I'm, I'm curious, like, does he, he help? The eyes are like Christmas ornaments, see? Does it's he, like, is he, like, help what? pull, like, the Wait. sleigh, too? Mm. Or is he just? I don't know if it has anything to do with Santa. I'm... It just says in Welsh caroling. Uh, it goes around town, house to house, bringing Christmas cheer. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm curious about that. I, I might have to look that What's up. What's with the giant tooth on it? That, that's well, that's a horse. horse's tooth. That's like what horse teeth look like. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they got big, big teeth. teeth. They have very big teeth. Well, that's an awesome email. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Okay. 
Uh, bear with me. The text is very small on this email. I don't know why, and it won't let me enlarge it. So it says, uh, I hope this email gets to you. Sorry to hear of your loss. Yes, thank you very much. Um, oh, this is from the Ives family in the UK. The Ives family emails us every year with Creepy <laughs> Santa time, uh, and they've sent in a couple of little Creepy Santas for us. So here's the first one that they found. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pretty nose. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's creepy. That is creepy. Definitely creepy. And then we've got these little guys here. <laughs> um, they're, they're definitely ti- unique. They're tiny but long legs. Yeah, tiny but with weird long legs. And that they probably flat. they're probably meant to sit like on your mantle, mantle so they dangle over like the fireplace mantle. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But those are awesome. Yeah. And good to hear from you guys. Thank you so much. All right, next email says, Seasons, greetings to you and your family. I'm so sorry to hear about your grandfather's passing. Oh, thank you very much. We've hit that point in the emails where we're going to hear a bunch of that. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh, deepest condolences from my family to yours. My son and I were at the mall and saw this Santa on a Christmas tree that looked creepy. What are your thoughts? Sending you regards from Trinidad in the Caribbean. And I think we actually heard from these guys earlier on. Uh, this is uh, Ikram and Abrahim. In the in the Caribbean, at Trinidad. So look at this guy. Oh, he's one of those. He's like a ladder he's Santa a ladder climbing up the tree, Santa, but like he's at their him. mall. Isn't that great? The, the face looks like this face. It, it does. does. It looks kind of like our creepy Santa, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, here's probably the last one today since we've gone through so many. Hello, writer, Spencer, Christina, and the godfather of YouTube, (laughs) Mr. Pixel Dan. (laughs) I have sent in a few creepsters over the years, including the Lego Santa, but this year I have moved and found a new antique store with new Santas. Hope you all have a great holiday season without any more complications. Take care and thank you for your positive attitudes and holiday cheer. Merry Christmas, Kyle from Texas. <laughs> oh, I love it. I always look, love these ones. The little one too. The little one is great too. Both of those but are that, great. And yeah. they really wanted to save on plastic. They just made them red. Yeah, just all um, red, barely any paintwork yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, and then there's this guy right here. That, what about that? Is it a Santa or is it a fryer? I know. He totally looks like a fryer tuck or yeah. something. <laughs> but I think he's supposed to be a Santa. That's great. That's great. Man, I love them. And you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to send in so much awesome stuff, all these great pictures, spreading holiday cheer with us here on the show. So we appreciate you guys. We are down to the last couple days, and I still have a lot of these to get through. So I think it's important to reiterate that as I'm going through these, we're going to try our best to show everything I'm not going to guarantee we can show everything. And if you guys are sending in a whole bunch of pictures, I'm going to limit it to only showing two of them here on the show. So just keep that in mind. If you still want to send them in, that is fine. We'll try to do at least a slideshow or something if we just can't get through every single email. So we'll we do will, our best. We, we will do it. We'll do our best. We, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to do some toys now? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do some toys. Okay, before we dive into all of our advent calendars, I got a gift that I want to open. Um, so this was actually sent, and I've already peeked, so I know some of the stuff that's in here. But this was sent to me by my good buddy, Billy, um, who goes by Thunder Punch He-Man on Instagram. He's, he's uh, become a good friend of mine in the Masters community. He helps me out a ton with a lot of uh, the, the, the Origins figures and stuff that I've reviewed on my channel. Um, and he was nice enough to send me some gifts, and I thought that was very cool of him. And I actually wanted to open them up here on the show because I wanted to give him a proper thank you for all this stuff and make sure he knows how much this means to me. So first of all, I'm so excited that he sent me these. These are the weird He-Man and Skeletor Flex Stream figures that just randomly started showing up at a lot of the outlet type stores. So these came from Ollie's, which we don't have Ollie's around here. No. I think they're also starting to show up at Big Lots now though. But they, okay. they're just, they came out with like no real announcements. Nobody knew anything. They're just showing up at these discount stores. So they're like Bendums basically, but they're He-Man and Skeletor ones. Oh, they're really stiff. Yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely going to use these for a video at some point. I want to like actually do a, like a review of them. I think they're so neat. They look um, really good too. He threw in all kinds of stuff in here, man. I just can't believe he packed in so oh, much. Oh, nice. First of all, how amazing is this hat? That hat is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to put this on. I don't wear a lot of hats, but I got I to gotta loosen this up here. Here. I'll... Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't have a good hat head for hats. I don't think. I don't think hats look good on me. But I love Battle Cat. That is the awesome. The Battle Cat is awesome. And then there's like a bunch of like, um, this is the Mega Constructs Rotan. Oh, nice. Which is cool. It's not even put together yet. We have one of those, but you know what? You can army build Rotons. That's pretty sweet. And then, and then like, he must have, he must have, so like Billy buys uh, du duplicates of a lot of things. So he must have decided he didn't need the motorcycles. <laughs> so these are the bikes from um, like the new Netflix He-Man stuff. And I've actually done some videos on those already. They are very, very fun. Um, these are amazing. Uh, I've got some of this artist's pins, I believe, but look at this, Thunder Punch He-Man. Isn't this amazing? So it's an amazing is enamel that, pin of Thunder Punch He-Man, and the, it's all shiny and everything. Is, is that in the style of that cartoon? It kind of has a very Adventure Time-esque yeah. vibe to it, but yeah, let's see. And that's Billy's name is on there too. Yep, Thunder Punch He-Man. So these are like his exclusive pins. Oh, that's awesome. How cool is that? These are awesome. They're so, so cool. I love it. I love pins. Here's Battle Cats. Battle Cats. This is the one from the two pack because it's like the one with battle damage on it. You want to check them out, bud? You like Battle Cat. I love Battle Cat. Oh, here's the instructions for that. Nice. And then that would um, be for me. he also <laughs> threw in. It's funny because we've got one of these already because we were just putting one of these on. Rider. Rider's head when it was kind of chilly out the other day. I think this came from one of the NECA loot crates. It's a it's a Krang stocking cap. It's amazing. Here, put on this Krang stocking cap. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to open that up on the show because I thought it was so cool, so thoughtful of him to want to send this stuff to me. And specifically, I know that he specifically wanted to give these to me and then he just stuffed the box with a whole bunch of other goodies. So thank you, Billy. This really means a lot. I love these. Love all of them. All right, so we can dive in now to our advent calendars. Well, first, we wanted to show. Oh, yes. Uh, so some folks had mentioned that we forgot to show. the. F What's this, Spencer? A pop tube. This was underneath the giant poppet Santa on the 17th, and we mentioned it, and we forgot to show it. So what does it do, man? It's stretching. Whoa, and it makes those poppy noises. And it. Can I also do this? Yeah. What else were you doing with it the other day that was oh, really you cool? Were, you, were spinning you were like it. swirling it. I don't know if there's room in here to do it, but I don't know if you can hear it, but it totally makes the woo 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 noise when he does the swirl. So. And here's the pop again. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Love it, man. All right, you ready to open up uh, 20 on this? Yep. Okay. Go for it. It looks like I haven't even opened 18. But I think you have. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it just looks like it. So you got 20 on there. Boy, those doors are crazy. I'm going to go ahead and dive in on mine here, too. I got a tiny door on my first Back to the Future one. There we go. I got an Eagle Skateboard. You got a skateboard. Oh, that's funny. I got a skateboard too. <laughs> that's hilarious. We both got skateboards. So that's really neat. It's like you got one of the little finger skateboards. And then I got the little this little wooden skateboard. I think this is like the supposed to be like the 1950s one that he invents. Now that was like a wooden board though with I don't know, but yeah. So we got a little skateboard <laughs> for Marty. Okay, what did I get? I got Lumiere. Lumiere, one of your favorites. I love Lumiere. That's amazing. Okay, <laughs> door twenty. Where are you? Okay, door 20? Spencer. You want to open dragons from Kevin? Yes. Oh, it's Clara. Clara Bell? No, just Clara. Oh. But she doesn't have any accessories, so we know what we're getting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put her on the skateboard. New dragon. Oh, what is, oh, is that's that moon that... something, what's, what's, right? Yeah, what's it's that? The, it's a fog dragon. That is... Light Fury. Fury. You got the Light Fury. That is cool. Is okay. Now the, the colors don't matter. I want think. this one. That and one's cool. And that one and that one. You want all the two-headed ones. Yeah. <laughs> he loves two-headed dragons and She's stuff. She's really pretty, though. Yeah, I like she's how she's... like that she, pearl very, color. Very pearlized. I yeah. like that. Look at Two skateboards. 
I think that's so funny. We both got skateboards <laughs> on the same day. What are the chances? Mm. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. They like the dragons on the skateboard. And now here's Battle Cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us for another installment of Advent Calendar Madness. Super fun today. I know we had a lot going on, but man, we are on that final stretch, guys. That final stretch. Five more days until Christmas. Are your kids as hyper as mine? Yes, ours is very wound up. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas season has hit him. Yes, it has. All right, guys, well, until tomorrow, I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. I'm Spencer. Happy holidays, my friends. Bye.